Hi guys and welcome back to Crypto Chester. My name is Chester and today I'm here to give you a BTC update coming through here. Start off on the one hour time frame, then we're going to move to the four hour and then a long term time frame, which is going to be the daily. As you can see here on the short term time frame, guys, don't want to keep you guys for too long here. You can see we've got a falling wedge coming down like so. This is going to be our downward slope and support line here. We've got the We've got the downward slope and resistance line to the top side as well, creating, as I just said, that falling wedge to the downside, right? Falling wedges, they tend to usually break to the upside, guys. So it's definitely something we can be looking for here. It's a potential long position. The nice um, measure move that we are looking for here is going to be something along the lines of this. Ideally, before we jump into this trade, I want to see a nice candle body close at least above this wick here. Um, and then basically going to be riding that wave up from there. In terms of um, a level of... Um, Percentages coming through, looking around at 6.08% there for this move. Not too bad at all. We do have a volume weighted ATR band in there coming through on the hourly as well, which is going to find some sort of resistance and some sort of price action there around 42k. So if we do start leveling up in terms of prices here, I want to be using this as a lovely take profit point if we are ready to go long and do get that perfect candle body close there. Um, a nice bit of um, confirmation that we're looking for here is going to be this 200 EMA. As you can see, that's coming down very, very nice, that purple line there. If we can get above that and find that level of support, which we're currently consolidating on quite rapidly there, then it's gonna be very, very nice for a level of support, basically pushing us to the upside. We've got volume as well, trending down as well. So that is gonna be another sign for um, for a potential big breakout scenario that like that, right? As you can see on the RSI, we, are, we did get to that pretty much overbought scenario. But as I said a second ago, we are consolidating at this time, which is actually bringing the RSI down, which is very, very nice indeed. Ideally, what I would want to see here, because even if we do see a massive pump coming through, we're going to be seriously overbought on the RSI, right? So the ideal sort of scenario that we're looking for here is to claim this downward sloping um, downward sloping resistance line, use that as support, consolidate along the 200 for a bit longer until the RSI is actually probably a lot a little bit lower than the central point there and then we can be looking for that pump right then we can be looking for that pump to the upside that's sort of going to be the safest scenario that we're looking for here we're above all major moving averages guys we're in a micro uptrend not too shabby at all I just want to say though, we are still trending down overall. So we could easily find resistance here. The areas that I'm looking for for support is going to be around 40,000. If we can hold 40,000, amazing stuff. If not, then we're probably going to come down a bit lower than that just because we're going to be losing all major moving averages coming through on the short term time frame. And we know how um, how solid they are in terms of support, guys, um, in terms of getting, giving us um, a nice bit of direction on where we think we're going in the markets. Now, moving on to the midterm time frame here for BTC. Um, you can see, um, let's talk Fibonacci for a second, guys. You can see we are in a in 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 a pr pretty strong downtrend coming through from here. We've got our swing low at around this point, around thirty eight thousand six hundred. There, you can see we're sat on the zero point two three six Fibonacci retracement, which is obviously very very crucial here, guys. If we start to lose this in terms of a level of support, which we're currently trying to find here, we're testing that level. If we lose that, then I would expect us to be coming down a bit lower, right? When I say a bit lower, we've got volume weight state ATR and still holding us up in terms of support here so we can easily come down and test this again i really 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 wouldn't be surprised there let's bring up some moving averages as well and see if we can get some moving averages coming through here on um on the midterm time frame and see if we can get some sort of um, a bit more of a better bias right because you can see the um the, the 55 down here this little green bad boy that's holding us down in terms of resistance they're very very strong so ideally what we're looking for here is a lovely candle body close above the 55 moving average above the 0 0.2 Three six Fibonacci retracement, and that's sort of the confirmation we're looking for for the momentum towards the upside, right? This here will be acting as resistance, so please don't be fooled. 40, 41,500 is definitely going to be an area to be looking out for there, especially if we're going to go long here on the short term time frames. May I just say, nothing I say is financial advice, it's literally um, purely for educational purposes only, guys. So please don't ever take any trades I am saying here on the stream, right? I'm here to just educate you, and that is it, right? Um, so yeah, as you can see, that's sort of what we're looking for here for for a nice healthy, um, nice healthy bit of momentum to the upside here for BTC, and it's not looking too bad after seeing quite a nice buy up coming through, um, coming through, um, coming through yesterday, right? <laughs> and so yeah, ideally, summarize that, guys. We're looking for a candle body close above the um, above the the 55 moving average, and then hopefully we can basically ride that wave up to the 0 0.382 Fibonacci retracement there. Moving on to the longer term time frame here, guys. You can see we've got a rising parallel channel here. This still stands very very strong here in terms of um. In terms of level of support, you can see we've actually found support on this multiple, multiple times here, guys. And you can see Fibonacci retracement 0 0.236. We're bouncing off that in terms of support as well. So let's have a look at resistance from the 55, and that's going to be around 
42,300. So the areas to watch here today, if we are going to be looking for that long here in terms of the short term time frame, guys, we said we've got that 41,500. That's going to be a very, very strong area to be looking out for there um, on the midterm time frame. Also, that 42K because of the volume weights day TR band. So we're literally just putting in our take profits here, guys. And what did we say a second ago? The 55 moving average at that um, on the longer term time frame. That's 42,000. 42,200 there, 42,200 is going to be another another point to watch. And yeah, that does line up pretty much with testing that volume weight ATR band yet again as well. So yeah, that's definitely going to be a point to be looking out for there in terms of Viva La Resistance. In terms of what we're looking for here, if we do break to the downside here, there is going to be a short position. We're going to be losing the 0.2 Fibonacci retracement. We're going to be losing very, very key areas on the VPVR in terms of support coming through there. Um, and also you can see we've got a lovely, juicy measure move coming down like so, which hey, 19% on the table. Who are we to turn it down? That's definitely going to be something I'm going to be looking out for there. If we can get a nice candle body close, probably below 38,500, something along the lines of that. That's going to be the BTC update for the day, guys. Um, I haven't been streaming that much and I haven't been uploading that much just because I am in the middle of a move to Thailand and it's very, very stressful. Very, There's a lot going on. I'm having to sell a lot of stuff. and or, there's, there's, there's a lot going on. A lot of um, a lot of things right now that I'm very, very busy with. Um, so um, so I will be um, back to back to the routine as soon as I've got the move out of the way. I fly um, early May. So um, so yeah, it shouldn't be too long now. But, um, but yeah, it's all a bit up in the air at the moment. But hopefully we can get back to normal routine fairly, fairly soon, right? But yeah, if you are new to, this, new to the channel, guys, jump in the community. We've got a lovely Telegram group. The link is in the description. But for now, it's going to be peace out and goodbye from me, Crypto Chester.